even though I'm doing these FFO, I can still do hauls and get ready with me's and stuff like that. But of course they won't be, you know, the usual format. They will be in a vlog style. So that's fun. This wig is fucking iconic. I never posted the video. I should post a video. If you guys want me to post a video on this hair, I will. But this is actually one of my favorite wigs I've ever gotten. And I actually cut layers in it. Every time I wear this wig, I always get asked where this wig is from. It doesn't look like it's that special, but trust me it is. There's a mirror on the side here, so I'm gonna look like here, and I'm gonna look back, and I'm gonna look here, and I'm gonna look back. So yeah. Sorry if it's noisy. I'm in Manhattan right now and the windows open, it's hot in here. Like hot combing the frontal section of your wig will dramatically change how your wig looks. So even that, like this side looks so much better than this side. And guys, I'm not a hairstylist, I'm not a makeup person. You guys know me, okay? Like I just do what I need to do and get on with business. And I dye this hair jet black as well. You guys already know how I feel about dyeing your hair jet black, especially if you're darky. It's always gonna go off. Trust me, dog. I wanted to have my hair up today. I don't I know it's just something about curly loose waves that just like does it for me so that's what we're gonna do today i never really care about my sides because my hair is gonna fall no one's really peeping their sides like unless i'm like sucking dick and like a guy goes like that to my head to hold my hair up like other than that like i don't really need to be gluing down my sides i will do it for the purpose of this video though it might give off like a better effect i use usually do these two side bits going down i don't know why i just always like to do it because it's just like added security you know like if your wig is stressing you out you can just go choo, 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 choo. like you don't have to go like this that's inappropriate when you're out and about ring the alarm I've been through just too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. Never ever used to use a hairdryer before to lay down my front all because every time I used to use a hairdryer, it used to make everything super flaky. Guys, my lace front are not great, okay? I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. Pull out any sort of wispies I can while it's setting in place. So like this bit here, just pull this out here just to kind of see if that's gonna work. And I think it will work. How satisfying is that? So I go over here on the side and then I do up here too to like lay it proper flat. Now I'm gonna just tie it like this and now we're gonna get into the makeup. You should not be putting foundation, liquid foundation up here on your forehead. And I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm gonna tell you again, we don't do that anymore. What we do is get the excess that's on the beauty blender that you put on your face over here. Whatever's remaining, you thin it out on the, on the forehead. But you don't need to actually, you squeeze foundation, you go goo 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 goo. No, we don't do that anymore. Let's talk about this. The Fenty Skin Lotion. Bonjour, oh, well, I feel so bougie with this. Like, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyways, gonna get some of my lotion. And I'm gonna move these two pieces behind my ear because I need to hear what these bitches be talking about. Okay, I'm joking. That's very embarrassing. I'm gonna put lotion on first. And I hate when I put lotion on my eyebrows, but I just did, so that's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna do my brows, fill in my brows. And I'm using the Benefit Pro Palette. This is browsing. I'm gonna just grab a flat brush and my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer, the sculpt one. And I'm in the shade Chai. And I'm gonna use this to like, just carve this all out right here. Here we go, boom, bam, thank you man. So usually when I blend this out, I bring it down underneath onto my lid. And then I bring this around the top of my brows and I do the same over here. And then I bring this round up here too. Get like a spoolie brush. This is from my Too Faced favorite pencil that it's finished on me. But I get like a spoolie and I brush the brows up. The Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I'm gonna just use this. Nowadays, I really like to use hydrating like a hydrating base more time so this is the born this way matte foundation the two Faced one and i usually just do two pumps and then i kind of pat this into my skin i usually just focus it on my cheeks because that's where like i have like a bit of like scarring and stuff i do have a few spots and stuff but my skin's like not crazy i might break out but that might be because of diet like what i'm consuming or if i'm using a dirty brush i don't have crazy spots i do have one here that's fucking painful but usually if you get spots on your chin that's hormone balance I think. I don't know. I'll leave you guys to discuss in the comments, you know, get that engagement going. All right, so I'm gonna use the Too Faced concealer, the same concealer I use on my chin. I do it the old school way. I grew up watching the beauty gurus that used to cake their face back in 2016, and I just can't break free from that routine. I'm so sorry. When I have kids, my daughter's gonna be like, mom, that is 
so 2000s and 60s. Can you believe my mom does highlight and contour, you know? One time she made me tell her step by step what everything is, and she wrote it down on a piece of paper, and she put the piece of paper in her makeup bag. She is a victim of African art, you know, totally understandable, it's a culture, it's a way of life. This one here, this is like $8.11. This is my jam. I've been using this for years, okay? And it's probably cut off. It's probably mold in the bottle. You think I care? No, go away, fuck off. I need to buy another one. Like, using a dark foundation is always gonna be the way for me. Kinda like, blend it out as much as possible. And that's gonna look crazy. Fine, whatever. A fluffy brush like this. And then I just kind of buff it. The line is still there, but it's like diffusing into my highlight and stuff. I might use the excess from the foundation sponge to like bridge in the highlight and contour. So it's not like too crazy, but you see like the definition still there. And this is the Juvia's Eye Sculpt iPad. I talk about this all the time and I'm not going to tell you guys again, but this is what I use, okay? Do the contour on my nose first. Oh my gosh, guys, is this unrealistic beauty standards? Like, I love my nose, by the way. Like, every time I contour my nose, I literally have to tell myself, Treya, you love your nose and you do not need a nose job, so don't even think about it. You're just playing with makeup. Because, like, sometimes I just feel like, why am I doing this to my nose? Like, I actually love my African nose, like, so much. It's just part of the process. Mm, look at me. Yeah, you see what happens when you colonize countries? I'm joking. <laughs> Look at me trying to avoid blame. That's a joke, guys, okay? Don't send Dr. Uma for me. Fenty Beauty, this is in the shade Honey. So I get my sponge, because it's still kind of damp. I dip it in the powder. I scrape off the excess. I've been doing this for years, and I've told you guys this so many times. Small amount of powder that you have, you're gonna set your concealer up first. Don't just go in and start baking after you just put concealer on. No, the beauty gurus don't tell you this. You know, for years they didn't actually share the secret. You're supposed to set it first with like a light translucent powder or like a pressed powder first. Obviously, like if you make your powder like this, it becomes like a pressed powder. It's like you set it first, okay, underneath. Do you see that? And then you bake with your nose and your chin. And I do my forehead. Did I put concealer on my forehead? I'm not sure, but. I'm let me just put this here. It doesn't even look like I'm baked. Well, it does, but it doesn't look crazy. You only get your foundation powder. Go over this, okay? Trust me, trust me, guys. It's gonna bring the color back into your skin. It's gonna make things not look so yellow. So I go in with the Juvia's palette, okay? What I use for my nose. You see this one that I hit pan on? That's the one I'm gonna use here. I can't say when the alarm again, I'm not going to. Pay attention. You use a cream foundation, you set it with powder. You use a cream concealer, you set it with powder. You use a cream contour, you set it with powder. Okay, that's what I do. We're gonna bake afterwards. We're just gonna let everything marinate. Now we can do hair. Look at that. Do you see, like, do you see? Brush like this, okay? Like a tapered brush. You makeup gurus will tell me. And then I get my contour. I kind of like get powder and I just press it like in my lace. I get like a powder, the powder brush that I use like all over my face to like blend over here and blend over. I get this and I just pat this on my face. It hasn't got any powder. I haven't dipped any product in it. But I just like to blend anything because you know we put the scarf there and obviously there was like a disconnect. But look, like there's no disconnect. It's just like, okay, I am going to curl my hair. It's like this and it's like the juicy gut. Please tell me you see the vision. And that's why we get our hot tool. Look at that, look. I look like one of those like girl next door. like, oh my gosh, hi. Stop. You can grab, you've got to be, spray it on your toothbrush, okay? Now you can swoop. Got to be, <laughs> the way that we hijacked it from the punk rockers. <laughs> I love black women. <laughs> I'm telling you, I gotta put my shit back down because, you know, gotta lay this shit down or whatever. Guys, I had spicy J's <laughs> sandwich from McDonald's and Popeyes every day two weeks ago. I was moving mad. One weekend, I had 40 nuggets to myself. Like, not in one sitting, of course, but that's just too much. <laughs> I judge you if you weren't a Britney stan. Oh my god, when Britney used to get into her R&B bag. When you're curling your hair and you want to release it, what I usually do is I let it like drop in my hand, the curl drop in my hand and I hold it for like 10, 20 seconds. The white girl used to give me these tips back in like 2013. I used to be like, okay, Zoella. Sure. So now that most of my hair is curled, I'm going to undo this here. Like that. The craziest part about all of this, we are gonna brush out these curls. Like literally. <laughs> 
as soon as we're done. Definitely giving like my first prom. With these front sections, I like to curl away from my face like this. So it drops like that. I'm not gonna lie, I do wanna brush it and then it's gonna aggravate some of you guys, but I have to, because I do not like neat curls, I like waves. But you guys kind of see the vibe. All right, let's finish the glam. Bronzer is actually smashed. It, it's looking like this right now. Mokamami bronzer. But I'm gonna just dip my brush in there and like warm up my face. I'm just gonna go in my face powder and blot down anything that's like just kind of shiny. Cause my skin's oily. This part of my routine is actually very ghetto. So I have this liquid blush, literally my favorite, but it exploded by accident. I melted the case with my Tova Hot tool. I haven't thought about getting a new one cause I don't want to be wasteful. Why? So I'm just gonna put this like shoot on my cheeks. I actually use this as a lipstick too, but I will get into that in a sec. I'm gonna get like a blush brush, pack that in. And I actually kind of plait this like, or kind of bring it over my nose too. And there's this Revolution Blush Reloaded Blusher. I'm gonna use the same brush I used. Make this like super pigmented now. I didn't even bake, mind you. It's hard for me to see because the light is so bad now. But I'm gonna grab like a fluffy brush. The Eye Sculpt Eyeshade Palette. I drag it in my crease and I kind of like wing it out too. And then I bring this down like the size of my nose, the same part I used earlier. This is like drying out mascara by the way. So the mascara I use. This is Sasha Bart Cup Light. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this just to kind of like give me a bright under eye. If this is a L'Oreal lipstick that actually got discontinued and I kind of use it like on the outside of my lip. I don't use pencil. I'll let you guys know that already. So I'm gonna wait for that to like kind of dry down a little bit. You see the blush that I used earlier? Yeah right here in the center. When the colors mix, it just does it for me every time. And once we mix that in, like that, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal lipstick here on top. And I just do that for a while. I might go over it with a brown lip, ultra matte chocolate lipstick. And it's in the shape 70% yum yum. And then I'm gonna get one of the Dior glosses that I have. And I'm gonna just go over everything with this. Posh Lashes NYC, they sent me so many lashes. With eyelashes, I've realized that you have to cut them to adjust to your eye shape. So I usually just take off like the first little wisp. I just chop that off so it can fit my eyes a bit better. This is like everything close up. So I'm gonna do inner corner highlight on the bridge of my nose too. I usually do like a little line just like right on the edge, like here. And I just do like a half wing like there. So I'm gonna need this Smashbox mascara. Just to kind of coat my natural lashes. The actual falsies are like jet black. And my lashes won't necessarily be that same like jet black. And I do lower lash mascara too. So this is basically the final look. Does it? I don't know. Anyways, 